Hi everyone, I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to my YouTube channel. Cheers! This is going, one moment, oh oh, to be a reading for the sign of Aquarius. So, how is everyone doing? Aquarius, this is a general card reading, so not all the messages here are going to resonate with you, but if it does, claim it. Now, if this message confuses you a little bit, I want you to go and check your other placements in your chart, like your moon, your Venus, your ascendant, and I want you to go and check all those readings. And I promise you, I guarantee you, Aquarius, you will find additional messages in those placements in your sign, uh, in those placements in your chart. So, for example, your sun is in Aquarius. That's right. Where is your moon? Maybe it's in Capricorn. Check the Capricorn reading. Go to my playlist and watch all those readings. There will be a message there for you. So, and it's very easy. Calculate your chart on Google. Free birth chart calculator. Put in all your details. Allow Google to calculate your chart for you for free. Now, I'm going to start by taking out two oracle cards from the oracle of the fairies. We're going to open these cards. I mean, reveal these cards. What's going on at the end of the reading? All right. Ready? That's one. Okay. I got both your cards. Okay. Now. How is everyone doing, by the way? I don't know. This card just fell off. I'm just going to keep it here. How is everyone doing, Aquarius? Before I start my readings, I always send out love, light, and blessings, healing. If anybody's feeling under the weather or any of your loved ones are not feeling well, I'm sending you healing and blessings, okay? Just receive it now. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. The age of Aquarius is upon us, right? The Mavericks. Wow. Everything is going to be changing very soon. I think the nodes have shifted too, which brings me to another point. Go and check where your nodes are. Your north node, Rahu, and your south node. These are very important points in your chart as well. My God, the north node is your destiny, where you're going, why you've come, your program. And the south node is what you're supposed to purge. Okay, you ready? I'm going to just take two cards to start with. Top and bottom of the deck. Let's see what these cards are. Oh, boy. Your card. This reading is on. We're not even done the reading, but it's on point. Hello, Aquarius. How are you, my darlings? The star. This is you. This is wish fulfillment. This is something at a distance. You know, we wish upon a star. This is you. What can I say? You could be dealing with another Aquarius. Uh, this is also social media, long distance. There's been a heartbreak, yeah? There's been a heartbreak. The Three of Swords, as you can see, the three is always a number of imbalance. I'm talking to somebody who has probably connected with someone via social media. That's what I'm thinking. This relationship or this situation, even applied to a job, was your wish fulfillment because Aquarius is about wish fulfillment. You know, we wish upon a star. It's going to bring something at a distance from you. But there's been a heartbreak. And the card that just fell off, fell out organically was four of pentacles holding back. Somebody who's been holding back. Somebody holding back on giving you something what, which was your wish fulfillment or somebody... Just, you know, they have it. So look, this individual, this four of pentacles, the person is sitting on a chest of money. So whatever they want to give you, they have it. They're sitting on it. They're holding it. Their heart is closed. They do not want to share. It's a card of poverty, um, being a miser, but it can be a miser for your feelings and emotions too, Aquarius. Have you been dealing with somebody on social media? This is the first message I'm giving you. And because they've been holding back, and I don't know what they've been holding back from. Let's go and get into the reading. Let's continue. But something has caused a heartbreak for you. And as you can see, I think it's about somebody not opening their heart to you because, you know, this woman, I mean, that rose is pierced with that sword. I think somebody has cut you with their words. Somebody has held back from opening up and being vulnerable to you. And this woman is almost holding onto that rose, you know, stopping it from disintegrating. It's like your heart is just, which is just breaking. And this was your wish fulfillment. So 
The first card is your card. How wonderful is that? Let's continue. Let me see what other messages I get. Have you connected with somebody who's at a distance from you, Aquarius? Or via social media or, you know, some of those platforms that you can talk to people? I don't know. Um, and there's been a lot of holding back. We'll find out why. Nosy like that. So remember that you can also switch the roles, apply this reading to you or for the person that you're thinking about when you come across this reading. Aquarius, for my Aquarius. Can you please give me some clear, still clear guidance and messages for my darling Aquarius? Thank you. It's for my Aquas. 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 Aquarius. Okay. Aquarius. Aquarius. Wow, these cards just. All right, eh, eh, uh, enough. <laughs> then the reading will go until tomorrow. Okay, so I'll say one thing. This is a love situation. There was a huge spark between two people. You know, when I, whenever I see this card, um, you know, it's a card of having a spark that ignites to a flame. You know, something like that where you connect with somebody and I think you've connected with somebody via social media, via, via social media. Uh, I can't shake that off because, you know, you're showing up here so clearly in your reading. Aquas, have you connected with somebody over social media where there was a spark? I mean, they, it lit into a flame of humongous proportion, but there's some distance. I'm talking about somebody who's having a, a long distance communication, a long distance relationship. This is romance. Look at this. And I think you guys have also agreed to meet. But somebody is holding back from moving forward here. I don't know why. And I'll tell you your next task. This is somebody... You know, to start with, there are two knights here. Are you dealing with two people? Look, for me, it seems that your energy is you. I mean, this is you, for sure. I don't know who you're dealing with. Now, I'll say one thing. I'll give you both these personalities. You tell me which one you're dealing with. Please comment below and let me know. What is a knight of wands? This is Sagittarian energy, a player. Somebody who loves to travel. Somebody who loves to travel. Uh, big flirt. You know, they, they carry that wand. Do you see that wand in their hand? It's the wand of passion and they run with that. So if they want something, they just go with it. This is, this is also risk taking because this is this, this person, the minute they like someone or something, they go after this is about action, rushing in and out. The problem with this energy is they do not want to commit. They come in with a lot of passion. I love you. You're my, you're my everything. I, I'm crazy about you. I want you. And it drives you nuts. It drives you freaking nuts. But, but in and out. Has this person been coming in to meet you? Because I think this is a relationship where people are, this is a long distance relationship. This is somebody who travels. This is somebody who comes in with their passion and their desire. They run with it. Have they been coming in to meet you with a lot of passion? I mean, maybe you guys have been, you know, your sex is off the charts. There's this fire here between the two of you. Fire. But they are not committing. Because the four of pentacles here tells me that they do not want to commit. They're holding back. They're being a miser. Maybe they're giving you a lot of sex and a lot of passion. No doubt. No doubt. But they're not giving you a commitment. Now, there's another person here, Knight of Pentacles. Is this your energy? This is earth. This is fire. Knight of Pentacles. As you can see, this knight is in motion. They're about action. But this one has stopped. Now, it seems like he's doing nothing. He's just sitting there. No, he's not. He's studying a situation. This is very Virgo. You know, Virgos love to study the nitty gritty, the finer points. They're thinking, should I give a commitment? Should I not give a commitment? Should I move in? Should I go ahead? But, but, even though it may seem like they're doing nothing, when they come in, that offer that they come with is solid gold. 
look at this. They're just studying a situation. So are you dealing with two people? This is Virgo. This is Sagittarius. Okay. Are you dealing with two people? One who's very slow. One who's studying, looking at the details, strategically thinking, should I move? Should I wait? And this person just runs in and out. Passion. This person is almost stopped in their tracks. So I'm giving you another message. If you are showing up as this, okay, if this is showing up as your energy where you want, ah, I'm giving you another message here, Aquarius, this individual is very flighty. They're, there's no commitment. They just want sex and passion. You want more. You want more. Are you holding back? What are you holding back from? But if you're holding back from something here, they're not going to hang around for very much longer because they're all about the sex and the passion. This is a player, a flirt. If you are in a long distance relationship with somebody like this, in this energy, there is not going to be much of stability because they don't have, they don't have that in their program. They have not come with that template. Their template is to come in with a lot of passion, have a lot of hot sex, drive you crazy and bounce. Back they go. In, out, in, out. No commitment. If you were showing up as this, somebody who is, look, I want a commitment. I am studying the situation. Are you studying somebody? It, this is your wish fulfillment, but that is a long distance. This is a long distance relationship where somebody travels in to see you every time. They come in with a lot of passion, a lot of passion. Okay. Or you're dealing with two people. Aquarius says, please let me know. You're dealing with two people. One who is too flighty, one who is too slow. Is that what's going on where you're stuck between two people? One who's just brushing in and out and you're like, hello, calm down, calm down. Like this is too fast for me. The other person is like, hello, can you move? You're like prodding them. Excuse me, what's going on? Are you dealing with two characters like this? And both are knights. So uh, age-wise or status-wise, they are at the same level. It's just that the energy it's totally different. But I'll tell you one thing. When this person really comes in after they've studied something, after they've understood something, they come in, this offer is solid, solid goal. Now, whatever this is, this is your wish fulfillment. This is your wish fulfillment. I'll give you another message. There's a page of cups here. Now, cups are what? Your emotions Pages are what? They're messengers. So is this, is the page of cups can also be a child. Am I talking to somebody who has a child here as well? Is there a child involved here? Um, cups are again your emotions, uh, Aquas. They're how you feel. They're your emotional health. How are you feeling inside? Um, as you can see, this person is drowning in their emotions. Now this is Pisces. This is very childish. I don't think this is a child. I think, I think this is this energy. This is this energy. Somebody who's very childish. Very, very child. Somebody who's still learning to love. Somebody who's constantly giving you a small offer. A small cup. There is potential to grow. But it's a very small, uh, immature love offer. And that's not what you're looking for. I think you're looking for this. You want more from a relationship. You want commitment. You want loyalty. You want something which is for the long run. You are not looking for immature, half-assed, childish offer. Something which is so small. I think they're just giving you this offer to keep you there. I'm getting this message, Aquarius. And I think this is what is going on. This is somebody who is giving you a small, immature love offer when they know your energy is somebody who wants something committed, not something which is small. I think they're just giving you bread, bread crumbing you. They are bread crumbing you. They're coming in with a passion. And every time you ask them about, you know, what is the, the progression of this relationship? The, 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 there is nothing. But, and they know that you are showing up as somebody who wants a commitment. Earth. You, you know, earth is where you put things on the ground where you can see them for the rest of your life. They be, you want to create something which is stable. And they know that. And they're scared to lose you. Okay, because 
there is a huge spark here between two of you. But but because it's a long distance relationship, okay, and because they travel into see you, this is Sagittarius, and somebody travels, uh, somebody who likes adventure. They come in with a small offer to keep you interested, but they are constantly holding back. They're holding back from giving you that commitment that that is what you require to be in this relationship. This is just, this is, this is what you want. And they're always coming in with an immature, small offer all the time. And you do not like that. You could be dealing with a Pisces. This could be somebody who has strong Sagittarius and Pisces in their chart. Now, look, Jupiter is in Pisces. Okay. And of course, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. There has been some heartbreak here. Now, for me, this three of swords, again, this three is a number of imbalance. This three is a number of imbalance. Have they broken your heart? This card, whenever I see this card, it, it, it makes me feel very, um, I mean, it's not because a rose is being pierced. You can see this person is in such emotional pain, extreme emotional pain. Your heart is hurting. You know, it's like the worst has happened. Sometimes it's also a card of three people. And when I see the Sagittarius energy, you know, somebody who travels for their passion, somebody who's such a player and a flirt, have they put you in a third party? You know, and I'll give you one more thing. There's been a constant battle here between you and them. Have you been telling them to be more committed and more loyal? And they have not been able to give you that. You have wanted this. They are showing up as wands, okay? As fire. It's a constant battle. And I'll give you another message. It's a battle between your head and your heart. And you've been trying to tell them, look, I'm not happy with this in and out. I need balance, okay? I'm going to read this card like this here. This is again five. You have two fives. Fives are one. No, you have two fives, yes. I'm going to show you this card. You've always felt like an outsider. It's like you have to keep telling them, look, how much more time are we going to have this, this, this long distance relationship? When are we going to move ahead? When? And they constantly make you feel like an outsider. I think they give you enough to keep you stuck. Like they keep coming in with this small offer all the time. And, you know, you, you know, you, they, know you, they know you love them. They know that there is some huge spark between you. But they're not giving you a commitment. They're constantly holding back. now. I'll tell you one more thing. When these cards come out here, five of swords, five of pentacles, five of wands. Look at the imbalance. All these are numbers of imbalance. Numbers of imbalance. One, they make you feel like you constantly have to beg for their time, their attention, for a commitment. Even though I feel this relationship has been going on for some time, but it is long distance or something via social media. I don't know. And this person comes in to see you once in a while. I'm getting this message. You've had to always beg for their time and their attention. It's been a lot of fighting. Okay, this is sword energy. This is your energy, air. But somebody in this energy and this energy, guys, are you having a battle? Like, are you fighting it out? Has there been something that has made, made you like this? Or is this individual constantly fighting? And you know, uh, this, this knight of wands is a very impulsive, they, they, they may speak really mean things look you are dealing with somebody who loves to fight they have a lot of passion for you but they do not want to commit they're holding back on giving you a commitment and every time you ask them they make you feel like a beggar you're constantly begging they come at you with childishness and i think this childishness also spills into their fights with you they love to battle and as you can see they don't have your back they're not loyal either they're not loyal. And this energy is of somebody that I am right, you are wrong. I'm always correct, you are always wrong, and you will always lose. I will always win. They love to win. They do not want any casualties or any, what is that? There's only winners and losers. There's, they do not want to listen to you. They want to, they want to hear you, and they want to respond. They want to talk. They want to fight. And I think they come at you with this anger. They come at you with a lot of anger and immaturity when you try to talk to them about, listen, I want a, I'm going to take one more card because I have another question. Please, can you give me another card for my Aquas? I feel that they are very immature and you found out about some kind of a third party. They put you in a third party. And because they travel, this is a relationship which is long distance. You don't know what's going on once they're back in their own town. For my Aquas, please. 
Can you give me a message for my access, please? Clear messages and guidance for my access, please. Thank you. So, wow, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Is somebody married here? Guys, I'll give you a message I'm getting. You are in a long distance relationship with someone. Okay. This, this is a card of social media and long distance relationship. Okay. This is the card of Taurus. This is marriage. This is a committed somebody is somebody is. Did you find out what's this heartbreak that you found out that they're in a marriage? I'm getting this message and I'm just going to deliver it to you. Did you find out about something that they have? Where is that? Yes, they have put you in a third party situation. You, I think you found out and I think you found out some passionate communication. Did you get passionate communication from their wife or their, their beloved? I feel this is a online, this is a long distance relationship. You are dealing with somebody who travels in to see you. They spent passionate times with you, but they're very childish and immature. They also love to fight. There's somebody who has quite a bit of an ego. There's somebody who is a player. There's somebody who has another person back wherever they are. And this could be a committed partnership. Okay. There is somebody there and you found that out. Maybe you found out some communication. Maybe somebody communicated to you. Maybe somebody told you that, hey, you know what? That's my wife or my husband that you know you're talking to on social media hey that their mind they're married did you find something out you know for me sometimes there's three of swords is also you that you know swords are words are spoken did you find something out did somebody tell you something that look the person you're dealing with is married or the person that you're dealing with is mine and this communication came to you you know via the air uh, as in, uh, you know, via social media, again, did you find something out on their page? There's something going on here about social media and a long distance relationship where somebody has not ref has refused to give you a commitment. And you've wondered sometimes because, you know, they go back and then they say, you know what, I'll be back to visit you. And then they, they, they're not there for some time. And you're wondering, why is the person not messaging me? What's going on? You know, where are they? They're, they're at home with their other person. Okay, I'll give you another message. I see this card here. Now, this is a card. As you can see, there's somebody holding, you know, the weighing scales and they're giving money equally. This is six, a number of balance. Are they going through a divorce and that's why they were waiting to give you a commitment? I'm giving you one message that maybe that they're going through a divorce. This is Libra. Are you waiting for uh, them to finish up with a marriage? And that's why they're not giving you this commitment. I can read this card one way. This is like an equal distribution of assets, you know, payout, divorce, settlement. Is that what, that's the reason why they are holding on? Or I'll read this card another way. I'll give you another message. Because you've been just giving and giving. Can you see how many hands are here? You've forgotten that there is a weighing scale. You've not weighed how much you're giving this person. You have just been giving them. Okay, take. You want this, you can have this. You can. They are not reciprocating it. The more you give, the more they want. And the only thing you wanted from them, according to me, is a commitment. Okay, you've said, look, I want a commitment. When you come in towards me, I want you to come in in this energy, but they've not. They've not. They've constantly come on in this energy. And I think they're playing you. I'll give you another message here. You know, this card, this, this, this five of swords. If somebody who doesn't have your back, there's no loyalty. Have they been telling you that, you know, they're waiting for a divorce to be over? And they've kept you breadcrumbing you to hang on. You know, I'm still going through the divorce. I'm still going through the proceedings. It's not yet happened. And did you find out that it's actually finished and they're still not giving you a commitment? I'm just giving you this message. I'm getting this too. <sighs> we have judgment here. This is Scorpio. For me, this is Archangel Michael coming in and literally blowing this, this huge trumpet and waking you up. Waking you up. 
because this person has blinded you. This person has not had your back. They have not been loyal. Okay, they've played you. Then they're continuing to play you. I think they're constantly telling you that, you know, there's still, um, what can I say? Still the divorce is not over or, you know, they're going to get a divorce. Have they been promising you that they're going to get a divorce? And you've been waiting for that patiently. Is that what you're waiting and studying? When are they going to get that divorce? And the meanwhile, this person is just going in and out, meeting you, you know, a lot of passion, but always coming up with stupid offers, childishness, breadcrumbing you, keeping you stuck. You found something out. You found out that they were betraying you. They didn't have your back. They already had gone through that divorce. You already knew about the third person. I think that itself was hurting you, but they, you knew that they were on uh, the path to getting a divorce. And they kept telling you that, listen, I'm not giving you a commitment because I'm, I'm still waiting for those, that paperwork to come through. And I think you found out about that paperwork. But there's also communication via the air. It's going to be a male. You found out that shit, you know what? They're divorced already. Now, Archangel Michael is coming in. This is Scorpio. So far, you have Scorpio. You have Taurus. You have Aquarius. That's your own sign. Yeah. And I'll show you one more card, which is there which is a good card, this one too. This is a critical moment. This is spirit coming in and saying, you know what, I need to show you. Okay, I need to bring things to light. I need you to see what's been going on. I am going to expose things which have been hidden so that you can face them, okay? You can face them and you can fix the situation. You do not have to keep repeating this past cycle. This is Archangel Michael. He's going to give judgment for those who haven't been doing the right thing. And this is a second chance for you to leave this relationship because you have been in this, this energy, the two of swords. And as you can see the moon behind, moon is about secrets. You could be dealing with a Pisces too. You have found something out which has kept you stuck in this energy. You can't move. But as you can see, this person has kept themselves stuck in action. You have wondered why they are not committing to you because this is what you want. They have been telling you that they're getting a divorce. Okay. And hence you stayed there waiting. Okay. Now. Okay. Now. But no, you have seen no change in them. And they, they, there is a lot of passion here. I know that. This person has tremendous passion for you, fire burning from within. But they are not telling you that they do not want to commit. They just want to keep this relationship as it is. You know, like an online fling where they come in, they visit you, there's a lot of sex and they bounce. You've stayed stuck in this. And Archangel Michael is coming in to wake you up so that you just get up, you open those that blindfold and again whenever i see this blindfold i think of libra and we have the card here there is somebody who's going through a divorce here okay and they've been lying to you that the proceedings are taking too long this is what i'm getting this is what i'm getting and you've been waiting patiently when are they going to get that divorce when are they going to get that divorce and they've been telling you yeah it's in the process you know how it is red tape blue tape black tape it's taking so much time and you stayed stuck. You're not taking any action. But some communication is what you found out that they've already had that divorce and has made you really broken your heart. Because that means that they are just breadcrumbing you to keep you stuck there. They're already free by now. And there has been an equal, what is our distribution of assets already done, dusted. You know, you're dealing with a Libra too. They're not loyal. I also give you another message. This individual you know, for whatever reason, they've had their divorce and they have split their assets and they've moved on. They do not want to commit. They want to keep playing. This is their energy. They love this. They love this. Not a swords. They love this. They're going to be a player. Player for life. They do not want to commit. They just don't. They're not that type. I feel this. They do not have that template. It's not there in their DNA. They want to play. They just want to keep playing. And they're not loyal. I feel, apart from... You, there could also be other people. Maybe you found out about that. Maybe you found out via social media that not just are they divorced and that is over, but they have other people that they're having hot, passionate communications with too online, just like you. But with you, they're actually meeting up with you and you know you guys are hooking up. 
who knows what they're doing with the other people. But this person wants to play the field. They want to just play. Play. Whatever moves, whatever shakes, whatever walks, they want to hit that card. They want to. This is their energy. And perhaps that's the reason why they've got that first divorce too. Okay. So I feel this. And there's been a tug of war between your head and your heart. You don't know what to do. I'm going to read this card like this too. You just don't know what to do. And you've kept yourself stuck. Some secret that has come in, the moon, has been like Archangel Mike is coming and blowing this and saying, wake up now. See the truth. They are divorced. They are technically single, but they do not want to give you a commitment. They just want to run in and out and play. They want to play the fields. They want to be single, hot and happening. Now, this situation has made you think what you should do. You've been in a state of inaction for a long time. I know this. You have just held back. And like I said, your energy is showing somebody who's very calm, collected, studying a situation, Virgo energy. What should I do? Should I, how should I? You, you're very calm. There is no uh, childishness from your side. Maybe you're older to them. You found something out and you've decided what you should do. Should you stay or should you go? Because the two of wands is somebody who is looking at their options. This is your ships coming in. Yeah, sure. For sure. This is you looking at, I feel that you have taken this time to think what you should do. Where should you put your focus now? You put this one wand of passion into the ground. Yeah, you have a lot of passion for this person. But you're not getting anything back. There's no equal give and take. You want a commitment, you're not getting it. They're playing you. They are already free. They can get their divorce, but they're not telling you that. They're still telling you that they're not divorced. You have decided to strategize. You know, I feel you are this energy of yours. This strategize word has come out twice for me. It's coming. You are showing up as somebody who is just taking some time to think what you're going to do. But you are definitely getting out of this this energy of inaction because the chariot is dealing with a cancer. So now you have cancer, you have Taurus, you have Scorpio, you have Aquarius, you have Virgo. Please go and check those readings too. You'll get additional messages. You're moving and you're moving away from this. Moving away from this. And as you can see, this is the Six of Swords. This is somebody who's being ferried across this, this, this water of conflict, you know. And water is always your heart, your emotions, because cups hold that. And it's been very painful for you, this three of cups. <laughs> Somebody's heart is pierced here. Somebody has betrayed them. They have believed and kept their faith in them because the star is also about having faith in something. And they broke your trust. You thought that they were not divorced. This is what I'm getting. But they were divorced. And as you can see, this is, for me, this is always spirit taking somebody with them. You know, taking them across, like, come on, I'm going to take you across this, this, this whole mess. And I'm going to take you, and Archangel Michael is right here. He's with you. And this little figure could be your child. So maybe you have a child. Maybe you're a single parent. And you've been waiting for this person. You know, I'll give you a message. And I'm going to take some kippers on this. I'll give you a message. You were both two single parents or people who were in the process of getting a divorce. You already had yours. You have a child. Or one of you has a child. The other person, maybe you met on a group uh, which was dealing with, uh, you know, people who are divorced or getting a divorce. And, you know, it was like a health group. I'm getting this message because the star card is like social media. And you met there and you hit it off because this two of cups, this, there was a spark, huge spark. And y'all decided, you know what? So what? We're at a distance. Let's meet up. And this person used to come in and meet you with a lot of fire and passion. And they kept telling you, the minute my divorce is done, I'm going to have, you know, your mind, babes, I'm going to get you. Talk about the sex of my of, of what I'm speaking. Just go with the energy. And you waited, you know, you waited. And you kept thinking like, you, you were studying, like, you know, how much time is it taking? But okay, it's all right. They, they, at least they're coming and seeing me. You know, I love them. They love me, blah, blah, blah. And then some communication you came across which said, shit, the divorce is done. They're already single. But they didn't tell you. 
because they don't want to give a commitment. They just want to play. I feel this person has been pretending that they're still married when they've already got their divorce. Hey, Kipper. Kipper, can you give me, oh my God, some extra cards, please? Can you give me some extra cards, please? Okay, let's see what I got. Okay, whoa, there's too many. Yeah, there is a child, okay. Guys, there is a child here, for sure. So I'll tell you what, this guy is showing, this is the main man, and this is a, uh, this is what they call a rich woman. Are you dealing with somebody who's younger to you? Somebody here is younger. Somebody here is younger. This is the main male, okay? That, according to me, is this guy, your knight, who keeps bouncing in and out of your life. And they're showing up as a young energy, okay? Somebody who's very fiery, who's very passionate. And I think they travel to you for work. I feel this. This is occupation. They come to your town for work as well, or there's somebody who travels a lot. And I know this is their energy and they're young and they're very, very well put together. You are showing up as an older person. Um, very well put together too. But there is an age difference here because I feel when that page comes out, you know, it's a kind of immaturity. Somebody here is immature. They have a lot of passion for you. And you are somebody who's older. So you've seen life, you know, you're more calm and you're like, okay. You know, you've been very patient with this person. This is somebody who is an important and influential figure, somebody who's wise and mature, well educated, a person of authority. Could you could be a teacher, a guru? <sighs> somebody who's older. This is a older and a younger person. This is a relationship, and you guys met online because you know this card, this horizons card. As you can see, this uh, ship is flying through the air. This for me is you guys meeting up on social media, or you guys. Uh, Meeting up on a platform which is not where, where communication is through the air, as in uh, through uh, mails or text. And it's also a card of distant horizon. So I know this, this is a long distance relationship. Maybe you guys are from different, uh, what is that called? Different, different parts of the world. I feel this. You guys are from different parts of the world. This is a long distance relationship. Now there's a courtship here. I guess you guys met up. You guys did meet up. You all met up for sure. And there was a lot of love. I think there's a lot of passion here. I know that. Lot of passion. But there's a child. And there's another home that they have. Somebody here already has another place. Perhaps this one of one of you has a home and a child, or both of you have a child. And this relationship has been one which has made you feel poverty. Because I know that holding back, constant holding back, beggar, nobody giving. This has made you, has given you mental problems too or sickness because you've been wondering why this person cannot give you a commitment. It is because one message is that they have another home with someone and they only come to meet you for work. That's what Kipper is telling me. And you found out that there is another family that they have in another home but the other message that I'm also getting is that they were promising you a commitment because the Hierophant is commitment. It's marriage. It's by the book. But they've been telling you that, you know what? I'm not yet divorced. These are two messages I'm getting and I'm going to stick with this because, um, because I'm feeling that there, are, there can be two stories here. I'm giving you two messages. One is where you found out that they have, they're still married. They told you that they're divorced. And you know, uh, they're still married. Oh boy. Is that the case? 
And the second one, I'm, which is I'm telling you, is just the opposite. What a player this is, where they're telling you that, oh, wait, I'm getting divorced. I'm getting divorced. But they're already divorced and they're not giving you a commitment. What the hell? Gosh. Just want to take, oh boy. Just want to take one card and see what's going on. You know, my goodness, I'll tell you what I feel. There are children involved, no doubt. There are children involved here. That page is there too. There are children here. Somebody still has attached there to something. And I think you had a meeting. You had a meeting. Who is this? Did their spouse reach out to you? Was that the fiery communication that you received? Social media. This relationship is on social media. I cannot change that. This relationship is on social media. You have connected with this person via some social media group where either both of you were going through the same thing. I'm, I'm getting this message very, very strongly. And you saw some signs that there's something off here. This person used to travel all the way to meet you and used to have a lot of passion and, you know, um, hard, passionate sex. And every time you would come up about the commitment, they would avoid it. And you wondered, like, why? The reason they were avoiding it, the first reason is because they still have a child and a home and a marriage. Another whole home, a child, they have that. Or they are divorced, but they're fooling you that they're not. This is just crazy, man. This individual has been telling you to be patient and wait, and you waited. You waited. But they already divorced. Why are they not telling you that? I'm getting both these messages, and I'm just going to give this to you. Now, now, I want you to know that if you're feeling sad and broken, Okay, if you're feeling crushed, sad, and broken, I want you to know that Archangel Michael is here. And you are taking a trip. And for me, this card is moving away. Okay, and the world is your oyster. You're thinking where you're going to go next. You're probably going to move away from this situation and from this person who was not loyal to you. They didn't have your back. They didn't have your back. And you're moving. Where's the chariot? You're moving. Where's my chariot card? Here we go. You're moving. But this relationship did keep you in this crushed, sad, heartbreak. When you found out the truth, it could be one of the two. Either they are still married and they have a child or they have been divorced for a long time and they're still not giving you a commitment. Both these messages are coming through. I'll give you something else. Every time they come in, they try to bargain with you, negotiate. You know what? I'm getting a divorce. It's there. It's happening. Just wait. And I'll give you the commitment. Yeah. Yeah. Second, I'm single, honey. Yeah. I'm going to give you a call. I just need to have this fixed. I'm just getting both crap. And I think they come in with this childish offer and you've had enough. You are taking your power back and you're moving. You are moving. And I feel you're moving away towards someone. I don't know who. But you're definitely putting an end to this relationship because this person is showing up as very immature. And look at your energy. Look at the difference here. Totally different. Somebody who's mature, who's, who knows what she wants. And this person is showing up, the divine masculine is showing up as somebody who just wants to play. I mean, look at them. The, the twain shall not meet. It's very different, the energies. And they've been playing you. And I think you moving away is going to bring you success in love. And again, if I read this card as courtship, okay, this relationship has only been about this, where these two people are sitting naked in a park and probably, you know, making out. You're tired of that with them. Though it's it's fun, it's hard and passionate. You, maybe you, perhaps you missed it. But you want this where you can sit on the bench. They're sitting on a bench here too. 
Okay. You're just sitting on the wall and going, you know, chewing each other's lips out, whatever, you know, making out. You want this too. You want where you can sit down and be shown to people that I'm there, they are mine. You want that commitment and they've not been giving it to you. And again, I think the reasons are two. One, either they're lied to you that they are single, but just waiting for a little bit. You're not fixing this when they have a child and a wife. Or two, they have been telling you to hold on because they're getting a divorce, but it's already done and they've been playing you. I can't shake this off because when this card comes up, this is somebody who doesn't have your back. Third party, three people, three people, three people. In one situation, you knew there were three people in this, and you were waiting for them to move away from that. And in the second one, you did not know that there was a third party. So both these things could have happened to you, Aquarius. Now, now, I'm going to take some angel and crystal cards. These are my oracle cards. Let's see if I can give you any additional messages and then we'll read the fairy oracle, okay, that we read before. I'm glad you're moving away. You're showing up as somebody very mature. Very mature. Very mature. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Where did that card go? Okay. I'll just get that one card which fell down, okay? And I have your cards right here. Hold on. Let's start with the one that has fallen down. Titanium rainbow quartz. Multifaceted. There are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person you're asking about. I've given you two of them. One is either they're still married and have a child and they, 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 they have not told you. They pretended to be single or they're already divorced. Okay. And they've been telling you that you have to wait for my divorce. And they're already divorced but they're not giving you a commitment because they want to play. Let me give you the second one. Heightened intuition. Remember this? Remember that card about the signs? You, you got the signs. Your intuition was on point that there's something that this person is not telling me or they're lying about something. You knew it. And that's when I think Archangel Michael just came in and you know blew that trumpet and said, wake up. This is a sign you cannot ignore. They are still married with a child or they're already divorced and they haven't told you. So let me read this card for you, my darlings. Moonstone. Again, the moon. The moon is secrets. It's your fears. It's things coming to light. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it is trustworthy. Beautiful. Now. Lapis Lazuli. Life-changing epiphany or experience. It's like a tower. A tower. I think this communication that came to you, my goodness, it probably just blew you away. And I don't know if their wife or their spouse communicated to you that, there is, that, that they're still existing in their life and there, there are children. I don't know what this communication was. Maybe it was from her, from their spouse. Where's that card? Life-changing epiphany or experience. This has been a life-changing experience for you, for sure. You will never trust people on social media again. That I know. Lapis Lazuli. It is a time of big and blessed changes for you, and God is supporting you each step of the way. They're, they're ferrying you across from this this. this. Archangel Michael is here with you in this boat. Don't worry. You learn the lesson that, you know what? You can't just trust everything and everybody. You can. I mean, come on now. But unfortunately, this person was not worth your time or your trust. They broke it. They did not have your back. It's okay. It's okay. Your guides are here to protect you and take you across this and take you to calmer waters to a better place. As you can see, you're going towards the sun, where it's going to be happier, brighter, clearer, no more fog, because when the moon is there, it's Neptune again, fog. Pisces, Pisces is strong in this reading too. They like to create confusion. This person was confusing you with either they're still married or they have a child or are they divorced? You didn't know till the last minute what's going on here. I feel this. 
magical blessings. Aquarius, wherever you're, whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. You are protected, you are guided. And healing, healing. Do you remember that card of in the, the keeper the keeper gave us about somebody being sick i think this 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 person uh with this information that you found out or or the way they were treating you you literally must have, somebody must have been sick you must have lost your mental peace or you might have even had some kind of an illness back i don't know you were you were stressed out because of this now is a time for you to give or receive healing Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. I want you to know that you've taken your power back. You're moving away from somebody who played you. And this was a long distance relationship via social media. Okay. And there, were, there are two stories here. One was either they fooled you that they were single when they had a wife and a child. And number two, the second story is where they told you that they were about to get a divorce. And you had to wait till they got it. And then, you know, they would commit when they'd already gotten their divorce and they had not informed you, but you found out. So I'm glad to know that you took that call, that clarion call that Archangel Michael came and blew that beautiful trumpet and woke you up and showed you information that was hidden. And you decided to move away. And let me end the card, let end the reading with the card I started with. You're moving towards your wish fulfillment, which was not this person. This is your card, Aquarius. This is your card. So my darling Aquarius, please, please, please comment down. Let me know what you're going through. And I will respond back to you and set intentions for you every time I write something. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. And I cannot wait to come back again and do another reading for you. Until then, I'm going to say goodbye. I love you and namaste. Bye.